So, hi everybody. This is a painting that I'm doing as a speed painting. Um, I was actually demonstrating this evening with a friend in my studio and um, I was fully prepared and I was going to demonstrate how quickly if you have a um, concept in your mind of what it is you want to achieve and you're very prepared how quickly you can turn um, this wooden canvas into a beautiful, uh, well I say beautiful, ocean painting. So this is a resin painting and uh, the blue that I put down initially around the edges is the darkest of the blues and that's a golden fluid acrylic phalo blue green shade and uh, I mixed that into some resin which I did with all of these products. I then came behind it um, with a little bit of a second deep blue which is a Liquidex, Liquitex sorry, um, ink and that's in muted turquoise and that is a translucent color and when I move the colors around and they um, entwine your seed it has some translucency to it. The uh, rich teal color in the middle is golden fluid acrylic in teal also. And I'm using one mica powder in this piece, which is the um, shimmery lightish blue that you can see I've put down. Um, and that is a black diamond pigment um, in sea blue. I bought that on the Amazon. Um, so I've just kind of tapped all the spaces in, made sure that uh, I have sufficient coverage because I'm not, I'm not intending to um, tilt this canvas. I look like I'm putting white down right now, but I'm actually putting down interference paint in uh, blue. And um, I like that because it gives a, um, a it's very, very difficult to tell you what it is it gives my paintings, but it gives a sh definitely gives a color shift um, and seems to create some interesting effects. And I've just come back on top of it again with a little bit more of the mica powder, which is black diamond pigments in sea blue. Um, so I'm now going to get my hot air gun and um, the intention is that to move, kind of disturb these layers um, and make some kind of interesting effects by disturbing them with the heat, hot air gun, sorry, hot heat gun. Um, when I do that, they start moving around and depending on the product, some will rise to the surface and some will... Um, more full to the uh, into the base of the painting and that's what will provide me with some interesting effects um, so I'm just kind of disturbing them making them um, interact some will come to the surface as I said some will sink the Liquidex ink which before just looked like another deep dark blue um, will have some effect because that is a very translucent product, one of my absolute favorites. Um, I'm now spraying some Rust-Oleum metallic silver straight on top of the resin, coming behind it with my hot air gun again to disperse it out, create some shimmery waves. So I wanna kinda of disturb it out break them up so that the blues underneath kind of show through, um, create the illusion that there's um, some depth, more depth than there really is. And in this piece, I'm using a total of eight fluid ounces of clear resin. I'm using Pro Marine clear resin tonight. I just sprayed a little bit of 91% alcohol because that will break up the spray paint that I put on the top. This is a 12 inch square wooden canvas. More of the 91% alcohol. 
Finishing with a blowtorch, make sure I have no air bubbles on the surface. And I'm done. That was my speed painting. And here's some close-up images for you. As you can see, it did create some illusion underneath those silvery waves of water underneath. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a short and sweet video, but uh, um, I just wanted to film a speed painting and show you how quickly you can lay down your products. If you have a concept in your mind, this is based on a previous painting that I had done, which was much larger. And I will be posting some uh, photos once it's cured to my Facebook group, Resin and Mixed Media Art with Tina Kamala on Facebook. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Bye.